So, I'm going to start with the foolishness already. But. Boss, boss, boss. Boss, boss, boss. Boss, 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 boss. boss. Then it ting to nine, you touch that official. Boss, boss. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be doing an Instagram Q&A. Yesterday I asked you guys to comment some questions that you wanted me to answer over here on YouTube. And then come through as usual, some of the questions them, all right, and then some just gone to the extreme. But before we get into it, follow me on all socials at Tananya and follow my business page at Shop Necessities. The first question is, single or in a relationship so i am single until taken a joke no i'm actually dating right now so i'm neither single nor am i in a relationship i'm basically in the middle of both i'm trying to find that person i guess or my person so yeah neither single nor in a relationship um would you date a female uh right now because i'm dating to get a father for my kids or eventually a husband if i do decide to get married no i would not date a female what are the qualities that you are looking for in a man in a man i look for good communication i look for somebody who is honest and trustworthy somebody who is respectable um i like if they have good leadership qualities and if they are able to put up with me so they might have patience uh, those are a few qualities that i do look for in a man how long after you start dating someone you have sex couple days weeks month um for me i just kind of do what my vagina tell me so if you ever get it tonight you get it tonight and if i next year uh, next year but it's based on how I feel, I guess, and how far I see the relationship going, like how attracted I am to the person. It all depends. So everybody dates and date differently. Some people might date and date with restrictions saying, all right, there's no sex until three months or whatever. Like me say, my vagina, she talked to me and when she talked to me, I listen. What are your views on dating someone with kids? I have no problem dating somebody with kids. I just care about that with a baby mother drama, but um, it's not a deal breaker for me if the person has kids are you high maintenance um i would like to think i am a little high maintenance yes but i i <laughs> um but i am easy to work with so it's not a must but medium medium maintenance medium maintenance so little bit of high little bit of medium never low though because you're african you know there has to be some standards but not high maintenance uh, what are your thoughts on men crying should men cry of course men for cry um what is more beautiful than a man being so moved by a situation that he sheds a tear that's that's amazing then imagine all me i'm married and i come down the aisle and the man not cry me i turn back but i'm not married him because if my man can't cry or show emotions I mean, cry with reason. Of then imagine me all a breed for the boy and the baby I come out. I may not even say, oh, if I not even well up. Then I forgot to put the baby back up there. My, men should cry. As in, men should show emotions. Like, you know, come, baby, me rub down your head. Tell me how you feel. And I love that. I love a man who has an emotional side. Like, let me see what I'm going. Like, let me see how you really feel. Wow. <laughs> how freaky are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Can't wait for the excitement. On a scale of one to ten, um, I am a, uh, I am a high nine. I'm a nine, eight and a half, nine. I'm not a ten, cause some stuff manado, but eight and a half, nine. You know my adventurous and my young and free spirited. So yeah. Are you a sub or a dumb? So I am a little bit of both and it also depends on the situation but depending upon the day, the time of the night and the outfit I have on, I am usually a sub, a joke but yeah, a little bit of both. Um, shave or wax? Wax. 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 How's your mental state? 
wow um i'm at a good place mentally so right now it's really good thank you for that question by the way i love you guys um i'm at a really good place right now i hope to be at this place for a while um but yeah what is your main goal right now right now my main goal is just to be happy healthy and like i said to remain in a good mental space and also to continue being consistent especially with my videos you guys know that's a thing for me how do you stay motivated and inspired despite all the things you have been through um uh i have a few tricks so sometimes if i can talk about it like talk about what i'm feeling or the depressed feeling that i have i'll do that i'll spend some days in the bed by myself like alone just wrapped up sleeping may, may not be a good thing but i do feel like it works for me because it helps me to recharge um in terms of staying inspired i just try to do what feels right with myself i try to kind of block out what's happening around me and just find myself and try to channel that so that's how i do stay motivated and inspired what are some of the insecurities you try to deal with on a daily basis one of my biggest insecurities is my mouth this and i say that because i speak so freely and so openly sometimes i don't realize that what i have said has offended somebody or i don't like i don't think before i speak like i say what comes to my mind first it has been a downfall of mine before um so that's like one of my major insecurities that's something that i struggle with on a daily like yeah what has been your biggest lesson in life my biggest lesson in life is that you should always have a plan b yeah always have a plan b when you're doing what you're doing always think not that you're not approaching the situation positively or with a positive mindset but always plan for another route because sometimes it's not the route that you think things might go that they'll go so always have a plan b that's my biggest lesson in life how do you cope with change um i cope with change by changing i realize that the tighter you hold on to things it's the harder you make the situation for yourself so when things are changing around you it's best to change with them as well like it's you know it's not it it seems hard at first because you're used to a certain thing and you want things to look a certain way but sometimes change is good and a lot of times i've realized that what i wanted for myself is not as good as what god has wanted for me so when i do let go and allow him to do what he wants to do trust and believe change is good where did you do your bbl so for you guys who don't know a bbl is a brazilian butt lift i have never done a brazilian butt lift really good question though but how has it been since working with dream entertainment um working with dream has actually been a dream um everybody for me right now is family like i can't see myself without them um they are so close-knit or i should say we are so close-knit i absolutely love working with them each person is so unique and they have like really great qualities that you can learn from so working with dream definitely has been a dream for me how did you get started with your acting career i'm assuming you're talking about like when i come in the videos with danar to be honest I, um he just called me like the first video was the one that we did for valentine's day and he's like girl my other video why are you coming out with me but that's why for us come up here to come meet me i may act it out and that's really been it so every time he calls me and he's like yo my father can't step on why you do this with me. I do it. No, my phone stop, can't stop ringing. You know, management are calling me and I say, girl, you don't want to be a joke. But yeah, that's how I got started. Do you think you'd ever practice nursing again and why? No. I don't think I'd ever practice nursing again, but never say never. Um, why? I think it's because I have found my true calling. So <clears throat> nursing just doesn't, it doesn't feel like you know, I feel like that day I'm not giving my all. Because I know deep down that's not truly me. Um, fashion tips, closet essentials. One thing I want to tell a girl, I'm saying, so you want to know where the tight clothes them or the see through clothes them. Like y'all are going on a date, wear a seamless panty, right? Or wear like a thong. When you can't wear the, and look cute and look good, 
and then the panty line no man wear a seamless panty or a thong guys that's one tip or a closet essential i would say you need to have a seamless panty or a thong and if i can't wear none of them they're just gonna get it. would you talk about your breakup with shane um situations that involve other people i usually don't like to speak on them on my own because there's always two sides to the story and i don't ever want to sway anyone to feel like or think like i am right or was right but yes i would talk about the breakup but it would have to be probably with his consent um yeah i talk about it but that's that's for another time how did you get over your breakup i'm currently going through one, one right now we were together for six years um i got over my breakup by removing myself from the situation you cannot heal in this in the environment that broke you you have to remove yourself and try to center yourself talk to people that work for me like expressing my situation expressing my feelings to people getting advice from people close people of course and i prayed a lot i prayed a lot a lot i prayed <laughs> a lot prayed a lot for peace especially those were three other things that definitely got me through my breakup um and the most requested question or the most asked question what happened with you and rush and quiet perry i loved you all together the chemistry was lit was lit um i loved us together as well but some situations end um i've always said i wouldn't really talk about the situation publicly i'm, I'm still not going to talk about it publicly but i will say this um things happen you know people do make mistakes and um nothing lasts forever can't say anything else about it but <clears throat> i think those are all the questions that i'll be doing for today thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like Share this video with your friends, comment some positivity down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Make sure you like, make sure you share and subscribe. Come watch, uh, turn on your full of vibes.